Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. What a crazy day today. We scored a lot on the IWM puts on some of the other positions that we had that were longs. We got stopped, but also had hedges in place and that helped out. The big question is, is where do we go from here? And the cues, you can see they slammed on the daily chart through the 21 and right at support. So my rule of thumb is if you get two daily closes below the 21 period moving average, that's a trend change. So here we had a one day close, boom, okay? Uh, here, like one day close, but then it was up. One day close, then it was up. Okay, so that's not a trend change. But if you get two days, and we just haven't, the thing about it is we just haven't seen a down market in so long that it's, e it's easy to forget that sometimes that happens. But when you get two days below, you actually get real selling. So, you know, one, two, and then we rally back up to the trend line. That's a shorting opportunity and say, boom, you know, you sh back to the trend line, boom. Boom, and then really until the eight and the 21 cross higher, then I, then and only then will I start focusing on buying the dips again. Okay, so it just keeps it simple. You don't really have to watch the news or anything like that. So right now, at least on the cues, what I've been doing is focusing on that as a signal, and we don't have a sell signal yet, but on IWM, we've had a sell signal. Okay, and if you look at this, we had one, two closes below the 21. So on this, in addition to selling the call credit spread, which at this point looks like it'll expire worthless, I mean, that would be a huge move. Uh, but tomorrow we wanna to take profits on the 115 puts, which are almost up 100%. Now, we may gap up big tomorrow um, after, the, um, after the employment numbers come out, but that's fine, we got enough cushion here. But if it does gap down, I would just get out. I mean, that's just kind of the profit uh, from there. And then look at rolling that out uh, into, into the future. So that's kind of some of the stuff there. And it does bring up a really good question just in terms of what do you do in these kind of markets? For those of you that are interested in joining me on this class, this will be from one to five central time, which of course is two to six central time. It'll be this Saturday, uh, as in, I guess that's August 2nd. That's coming up pretty quick. The link to get here is simpleroptions.com forward slash formula. We're gonna be talking about how to structure a trade for both income and wealth building on the same setup, and that's a critical piece of this. What option stacking is and how to both finance a trade and allow for the possibility of a home run. The best way to stack weekly and monthly options on the same trade to maximize profit and to minimize risk. Um, we're gonna talk about my favorite strategies to hedge your account. I kind of showed you a couple of screenshots on that. The best way to set up your longer term option trades like a rental, rental property that will pay you weekly or monthly a rental income until you take that out. And this class will be just 297. And really it's just kind of, the other thing about this class too is it's actually, we're gonna talk a lot about bearish markets. And the strategies for bearish markets, while the setups are the same just in reverse, are actually a lot different than in a bullish market. And in a bearish market, as an example, in a bearish market, okay, in a bearish market, when a stock plunges, I actually don't mind selling a put credit spread, okay? with the idea that it's gonna like have a little bit of a kickback rally. But when it has that kickback rally, what happens is a lot of people here hope that the put credit spread expires worthless. No, 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 you get out. So a lot of times you sell put credit spreads for a dollar and then buy them back for 20 cents. You do not sit there and let them expire worthless because you're looking for the freight train to continue, but you can certainly get aggressive on call credit spreads. So different strategies like that, and it's, it's gonna be a really fun class, a lot of different stuff. Uh, and again, if you want to join me, um, would love to have you. I think it's gonna be a, kind of a, Kind of a way to kind of set the tone for the rest of the year. So simpleroptions.com forward slash formula in terms of when we see a setup, what's the best way to not only structure that setup for kind of a maximum gain type situation, but also to help help if the, you know, if the markets do tank, how do you hedge? What's the best way to hedge? How fast do you have to act, right? What if it's a up move versus a down move? And then when I say something in the room like, hey, I like Tesla here, I'm gonna buy it, you'll know that it's not just about buying a call, it's actually structuring a trade so it'll be theta positive, so it'll work in your favor even if it chops around. All right, so anyway, I think it's gonna be an awesome class. I hope to see you there. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you at the next update.